Three years ago, I visited my friends in St. Genevieve, Missouri, and they brought me to a winery place. So we went into the store to have some wine tasting. And you know what's the first thing the dude asked me? ID, sir. I said, dude, I'm 36. ID, sir. All right, show him is my ID. He looked at it. Oh, you are 36. I told you. And then my friend said, he's a priest, he can't lie. And then he said, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you are 19. How's that, huh? 19. So after we had few wine tasting, I asked him, can we go out to the vineyard? He said, okay, but you can't get in. Just stay on the side and do not touch anything. I said, I promise, we won't. We went out there and I was very excited because I have never seen a grapevine before in my life. The place where I grew up in the Philippines, we have only mango, a lot. But grapes, no. So I have never seen one. So we went there, I was so excited, and I was looking at it. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. It's really big. The branches were out there, and the grapes. The grapes are doing like this. Pick me, pick me. You know? I said, I can't. I was told not to pick you. But I saw the grapes, because they're about to harvest those. And I was good. I never touched anything. I just watched it, and I enjoyed it. Finally, I was able to see a grapevine. This experience of mine reminds me of our gospel today. As Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. As the branch cannot do anything without the vine. This beautiful image, sisters and brothers, shows us the necessity, I would use the word necessity, of us, branches, staying connected to the vine, who is Jesus. We have to. We have to. Even little children can understand the image. Like, the grapes depend on the branches, and the branches depend on the vine. Now, this parable of the vine gives us an assurance, a sense of assurance that if, if we stay connected with Jesus, if we remain in Jesus, we can bear fruits. We can make difference in the world. We can do great things for the world. We become part of the solution, not part of the problem. Sisters and brothers, however, it is not enough to be just branches. God wants us to bear fruits. That is why Jesus said in the gospel today that if a branch would not bear fruit, what happened? A chinso. He would cut the branch, throw it, so that other branch would come out that will bear fruit. So in other words, we can't just be branch all the time. We have to bear fruit. It is one thing to be a branch. It is one thing to come here every Sunday to attend Mass on Sundays and holiday of obligation. It is one thing to do our prayers, our personal prayers, our novena, our rosary, chaplet of divine mercy, whatever you do to, to be the branch, to, 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 to grow your spiritual life, that's one thing. It's another thing to put that into practice. That's the fruits that Jesus wants us. We come here 
because we need this, the Eucharist. We need to sustain our spiritual life. We need these vitamins and minerals from the vine, from Jesus, as we are the branch. But from here, we can't just stay being branch out there. We have to bear fruits by doing good deeds. We practice our faith. We live out our faith. We don't keep our faith just here. We don't just be branch being here. We got to get out there and bear fruit. Not to glorify ourselves. Not to say, see, I'm doing good. No. For God. We do good things. We do good deeds. Not to praise ourselves, not to raise up ourselves. We do good things because first we experience the love of God. First, we get some vitamins and minerals from here and we're just trying to put those out there. We do good deeds because God did it first for us. Sisters and brothers, we, according to Jesus in the parable, we can only bear these fruits if we stay connected with Jesus. Remain in Him as Jesus remains in you. We are the branches. And for this hour, we're going to receive from the vine what we need to bear those fruits. Bear fruit. Do good things. Do good deeds for God's glory. But first, stay connected with Jesus. We good? I want to eat some grapes after this Mass. <laughs> Stay connected. Amen.